Oh, this is probably going to be a really long video. Let's just get into it. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Command Basics. My name is Protolink and before we get into this I would like to remind you to like the video and subscribe to see all of my latest uploads, ring the bell to be notified when they come out, and comment down below what you think I should improve on or what you'd like to see next. Now without further ado, let's get right into this thing here. The scoreboard is a system in Minecraft that allows you to track certain game events, basically. At least it would be. In Bedrock right now, it's a little limited compared to the Java edition, um, but nonetheless, you can still do a lot with it, and it is super open-ended, kind of complex, and hard for me to explain, but uh, trust me, this is one that you are going to want to learn and get good at using, because it is just that powerful. It's probably just as, if not more powerful, than the execute command itself. Now then, let's take a look at the syntax real quick. The command, obviously, is slash scoreboard. And as you can see, <laughs> there's a lot of these. Now, there's a, there are three of these specifically that I will not get into. Uh, well, actually, there's technically four. Uh, the scoreboard objective set display below name. This one is one that I'm not going to go into. Uh, I'm also not going to get into reset, random, and operation. So I'm going to leave all four of those out. If you want uh, information on them, then you can look them up in the Minecraft wiki, or I might do a video on, at a later date explaining what they do. But the rest of them in this list, I will be going over. And yeah, so let's, uh, let's go through these one at a time real quick. Now, there are two basic forms for the scoreboard command. There's scoreboard objectives and there's scoreboard player. Now the difference between objectives and players is an important one. It's a very important distinction. And I'm actually going to go over how they're different right now. So let's go ahead and create an objective here. So scoreboard objectives add and we're just going to call this oh heh, by the way the string here is the name of the objective uh, the display name over here is basically how it's displayed you can change this to something different if you want but the like whenever you're handling the objective you'll always have to use this one so yeah, I would highly recommend you name the objective something that is uh, that is the same as the actual objective's name. Either that, or just leave this blank because it's optional. <laughs> uh, so anyways, with this one we are going to do tutorial. I want to name it such. And I'm going to specify dummy. What does that do? When you specify an objective as a dummy, you're telling the game to allow players to handle the objective. If you don't specify this as dummy, you're not going to be able to edit this. So basically this just means that you are going to be able to manipulate the values inside of it, basically. So this adds an objective called tutorial, which is a dummy objective, to the scoreboard. And let's go ahead and run this. Click. And as you can see, it says added new objective tutorial successfully. We're not going to be able to see this unless we set it to the display. So we can do this in one of two ways. Scoreboard objectives set display. And technically it's one of three ways, but again, I'm not going to go into the below name one. So anyways, um, you can either set the display to the sidebar which we'll be doing first. Now when you're setting the display to anything, either the sidebar or the list, you have to display, or you have to tell it what to display. So uh, if you omit this, it will clear the display selection, and I'll show you that in a second. So let's go ahead and run this command. And as you can see on the right side of the screen, you will see it added the tutorial display. 
Now what if you don't want it on the sidebar? And some of you might not because it's always there, it's taking up screen space, you can't really see through it very easily. Well, there's a fix for that. Instead of using the sidebar, you can use the list. So set display list tutorial. So let's go ahead and look at this here. So scoreboard objective set display list tutorial. This will set the end game list, which I'll show you where that's at, to this objective tutorial. So if you hit this, as you can see, nothing immediately obvious happens. Now, if you go into the pause menu, the list is, well, it's going to be over here. Obviously it's not here yet. It's because we haven't passed it a value yet. But once we pass it a value, it'll pop up right here-ish. <laughs> so anyways, let's go ahead and create a player for it. And that's basically what I meant by passing the value. <laughs> Scoreboard players add. Now, the syntax for this one is uh, set add remove, which I've already done. And then whatever player, you can use one of these or you can specify your own variable. And that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, let's name it something else. Let's do variable one. Okay. So that is going to be our custom variable. And of course we need to put it into an objective. So we always have to name our objective next tutorial, which basically that, uh, that tells, that tells it to put this variable, this player basically within the objective of tutorial. And then we will just add a one to it. And when we click this, as you can see on the right side of the screen, it'll say tutorial variable one, one. And then if we go into the pause menu, you can see tutorial variable one, one. And you can click on this, it doesn't do anything, but it makes a noise, so. <laughs> so anyways, now what if we wanted to, let's say, set it to something specific. We can use the same command, but if we use add, as you can see, it will just add one. It won't actually, you know, set it to something. So in order to actually set it to something, the only thing we need to change is instead of players add, we do players set. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy to understand. As you can see there, it set it back to one. So, um, Let's go ahead and set this thing to 100. That, that just basically gives it space and uh, makes it obvious, basically. So that is players add. Let's see what else we have here. Now, if we wanted to remove a player, let's go ahead and do that now. Then all we have to do is scoreboard players remove. Now, something to keep in mind. When you're dealing with the players with set, add, and remove, that is specifically dealing with the values for the player. So when I do remove, I have to specify obviously a target. So variable one, and then the objective it's in, so tutorial, and then the count is how much you're removing in this case. So let's just remove 50. So if we go in here, you'll see that Instead of 100, it is now 50. Remove will always handle the count of the variable instead of the variable itself. Now, if you wanted to remove a variable entirely, you have to remove as many uh, from the variable as there is count. So like, in this case, in order to entirely remove variable one, I would have to remove 50 from it. So sets it back to zero, basically. And that will effectively remove it. Scoreboard players test. All right, so this is a good one. Scoreboard players test allows you to test a certain player for a specific value. So let's go ahead and test our variable one. And then of course we have to specify tutorial. And then you can set a minimum and maximum value or if you specify them both as the same number, it will specifically test for that number. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's test 50 and 50. So that will test whether or not variable one within the objective of tutorial 
is at 50. So let's go ahead and run this command. Score zero is not in range of 50 to 50. Now if we were to set the variable one to 50, uh, hold on. And then run the test. Oopsie. <laughs> Score 50 is in range 50 to 50. So you can use this to check the variables for uh, for specific values or just any value within a range. And the last thing that I'm going to teach you how to do is to clear the sidebar and the list. So in order to do that, it's basically the same as how we put it on there. So scoreboard, objectives, set display, sidebar. And then instead of continuing, we just leave this blank because this will basically tell it to set it to blank. So if we uh, click that, then obviously it will clear the objective. Now in order to clear the list over here, it's actually the exact same thing. So scoreboard, objectives, set display, list, and click, and it cleared the list. And that'll actually do it for this video. So if you like what you watched and you want to see more of this kind of thing, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content and ring the notification bell to get notified of whenever I upload. And I think that will be about it. Thank you all very much for watching and stay tuned for the next video.